I, I just think you got to be by a very experienced, outstanding basketball team. Just, uh, superior to our team right now. And, uh, gives us a gauge of where we've got to go. Coach, the turnovers at the beginning of the second half, again, it just seems to be a pattern at the beginning of the second half really hurts you guys. Yeah, we didn't start half. I mean, well, I, mean, we, I thought we played extremely well for about 18 minutes of the first half, and uh, the game got away from us a little bit right before halftime. And then we had, I believe, six turnovers in the first six minutes of the second half. And, you know, I think some of those are, you know, due to their quickness and their ability to defend. Uh, some of it was due to a couple guys trying to do a little too much, you know, just so badly wanting to be successful and maybe trying to do a few things we can't do. And, uh, but that certainly was the key to the game. We, we can't play catch up against those guys and, you know, down 16 or 18 all of a sudden. And, uh, you know, it's hard to play catch up. You mentioned yesterday or Monday on the call where <coughs> Julian and Grant might be hitting a, a little bit of a, a wall for the freshman. Did you see evidence of that tonight? I mean, Julian certainly shot it well yeah. in the second half. No, I really did. I thought they were shining stars for us tonight. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, I think, you know, Brandon is uh, a little tired right now, but, you know, who hit at this time of year? But I thought Brandon and, uh, you know, 13 points and four assists, no turnovers. It was fantastic for us. He didn't shoot the ball as well as he's capable. But, you know, I, I, I liked his aggressiveness. You know, you know, maybe took a few questions. But we need Brandon aggressive, you know, to be a good basketball team right now. And uh, I thought Julian's shot selection was outstanding tonight. Uh, he's a smart player, but has a tendency to, uh, an ability to find gaps of zones and find find creases to get shots off. So I thought those two young guys played pretty pretty good tonight. Yeah, you've been at this a lot of years. Have you ever seen a box score or a team where it's one offensive? Yeah. yeah. Rebounding is the key to their, their success, and we um, you know we thought if we could stay in the in the rebounding game with them, we would have a chance to win this ball game. But clearly they. They dominated the boys. They're, they're big. They're strong. They're they're playing fifth year seniors, and uh, you know, shoot, they're four, five years older than some of our guys. <laughs> but uh, that's that's a key to their success. I mean, I honestly think if Old Dominion shoots the ball the way they did tonight, there's nobody they can't beat. I really believe that because they're so good defensively and so good on the boards. You know, they make shots the way they did for the perimeter tonight. I mean, they can beat about anybody. When you uh, have your young guards, your young players, your young guards especially, up against veteran guards. Do you try sort of to use what they're going through as teachable moments? Because obviously, someone like Darius James, he says he sees a lot of himself three years ago with Brandon Britt. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we'll look at this tape, and I think that our guys will learn a lot from it. I mean, I really do. Uh, uh, There's it's a lot to learn in the college game, and uh, you know, I love what they're doing right now. I don't think our older guys play real well tonight. It's really a key. You know, our, our veteran players, the few we have, you know, work work very good. You know, and I think that was surprised. Can you talk about the way that uh, Julian shot threes tonight? Well, you know, he took great shots, and like, what he made five out of six tonight. And, yeah, uh, it was a real, real bright spot for us tonight. No question about it. Coach, can you talk a little bit about uh, Marcus Gibbs? You know. I, you know, Marcus had a tough night. I mean, I, I don't know how to dis define it. Uh, he's, a, he's a great kid, he wants to play well, and, and uh, I think this maybe the combination of all their size is going to him out a little bit. And, you know, his jump hook was, you know, six and eight feet instead of three and four feet, you know, when he shot it. And uh, um, it's a tough night, really. Coach, uh, OU gave up eight uh, turnovers in the first half. Um, and when the point second half, which kind of one of their thinking there. They had eight turnovers in the first they half. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, they've got better guards. I mean, they're, you know, 12 turnovers is not a lot. I mean, yeah. it's, it's probably a fair amount against us because we don't really pressure out a whole lot. But, uh, you know, uh, they were much more efficient in the second half on the offensive end. Coach, do you think uh, ODU is one of the more physical teams we'll, uh, you'll face this year? Because, I mean, not only, you know, anybody watching the game can see that they're, you know, bigger guys. But, I mean, when uh, Frank Hassel's in here, you know, ask, asking him what he thinks the biggest factor, I mean, he says it's just very evident when we're out there that we are much stronger than them. Like, are they easily or even close to the most physical team 
go finish this year? I hope so. <laughs> I'm saying that. I mean, you know, they they really are. I mean, they're they're uh, they'll match up physically with about anybody in the country. Now, you know, if you look at our league, uh, I don't think anybody has the strength at so many positions they do. Now, some have a little more speed, some have a little more explosive offenses, but physically, nobody matches up with them very well. I don't. Think. He played Syracuse, another big you know team. Played a lot of zones. You know, they play a lot like Syracuse. I mean, we talked about that with our team because they're, they're, you know, they play a combination of a one-two-two zone and a two-three zone, but they they use the same principles. Quite honestly, you know, they'll, um, you, know, you got the ball in the wing and you got a guy out in the corner. And you think next pass, you got a jump shot, and they play in that passing lane out there, which is what Syracuse does as well. So. Their defense, I believe, in my humble opinion, is constructed very much like Syracuse, and uh, it's a great comparison, quite honestly. Uh, Julian, you've had a couple pretty awesome uh, few points of performance in the past few games. Um, can you speak on that a little bit? Uh, just credit goes to my teammates for finding me when I'm open. And I've, been work I've been working after practice, getting extra shots up, so this is paying off. Quinn, what did you kind of think of the game as a whole? Um, yeah, we didn't play very well. Uh, it was disappointing. In the first half, I think we missed some opportunities to uh, to close the gap. Uh, and um, I think they had like a seven or eight point lead at halftime. And I think that very easily could have been three or four had we executed, if not tied or been up. Um, and then the second half, um, we just made too many mistakes, uh, especially early on. And I mean, I'll put that on myself. I had a couple turnovers right coming out of the gate, and um, that really just put us in the hole. And um, I, I can't do that, and uh, we can't do that as a team. Just turn it over and give them easy, easy buckets that extend the lead and really, really kind of put the team out of reach pretty, pretty quickly. Quinn, uh, the last three hours, how did it feel? How did you get through? I know you're not practicing much. Uh, uh, it's fine. Uh, I, I'm going to finish the season, and then we'll be able to do that this season. So that's good. Julian, can you talk about your amazing three-point shooting tonight? Five out of six from the yeah, three-point line. Uh, again, Craig just goes to my teammates. They're finding me when I'm open. Uh, I try to move move throughout the zone when we go into our four four game. Just motion. I just move through the zone, find the open gaps, and just knock down shots. What did you guys think of Old Dominion tonight? Was this the team that beat in the CAA like they were predicted to be earlier? In the uh, I think they're. Well, I mean, they're definitely up there. Um, I don't know if they're the team to beat. Um, like they're they're at top of the league with VCU and George Mason right now. Um, and I know VCU. VC. I know VCU and George Mason are on top of the league with them. Um, I'm trying to think who's oh, Hofstra maybe. I don't know. But I mean, the, physically, um, maybe uh, without question, they're the toughest. They're the toughest team in the league to play. Um, they're maybe not as talented uh, scoring the ball, but they're gonna they're gonna hit you and they're gonna uh, they're gonna be extremely physical with you night in and night out. So it's, it's, there's a they're good they're a tough matchup for a lot of teams. Uh, 